Hello everyone, welcome to another tasty little knitting tutorial. We are going to be reviewing the English Rip Stitch today. It's also called the English Fisherman's Rip. As you can see, the fabric is gorgeous. It's very thick, even though I use a bigger needle than I should have for this specific yarn. It's very nice and thick and has a lot of elasticity uh, so it makes a great winter sweater keep in mind that this type of pattern also takes a lot of yarn but the result is going to be a very warm and fluffy fabric for this pattern we will cast on in multiple of two so I'm going to cast on 10 which is a multiple of two. Then for symmetry, you add on one more stitch and then one stitch for each edge. So two more stitches. So I have 13 stitches on here today so this is row number one that is this is our edge stitch we always knit our edge stitch so this is row number one we will knit all stitches Row number one is done. Here's our edge stitch. Okay, row number two. First stitch is our edge stitch. We will knit our edge stitch. Then we will knit one. And here is where the pattern repeat starts. We K1B, knit one below. So normally you would go here. For the knit one below, you would go underneath, the stitch underneath. Okay, so this is normal. And for this one, we'll go one underneath. Knit one below and take both of the left needle then you will knit one and that is your repeat knit one below knit one knit one below knit one okay knit one below okay the first one is a little hard here you see it so you go right there. Regular knit, knit one below. Last stitch is our edge stitch. We will knit that one. That was row number two. Row number three, edge stitch. We will knit this one. Okay, so row two, you were doing knit one below, knit. In this situation, we do it reverse. We knit first. and then we knit one below, right in there. Knit one, knit one below. OK, 
your regular knit. Knit one below. Okay, so right there. that's all there is to it it's actually very simple you will repeat your pattern row number two and number three so right now it doesn't look like much but it's gonna end up with this gorgeous pattern I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you do uh, give me a thumbs up um, leave me a comment below, uh, subscribe and click on the notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Peace.